Well, hello. I want to introduce you to a little jewel that I have here. Um, I uh, found this in the attic. I had been working on the Model 100, as you may have seen the video on the Model 100 Tandy uh, portable computer. And I got to thinking about the stash that I had in the attic, and I stumbled on this Tandy Pocket Computer PC3 with 4K RAM, manufactured in the early 80s, 1983, 84, somewhere in there. I think I got this in 85. I paid, apparently, I paid 99.95 for it. Can't remember if I bought it used or gently used. In any case, um, um, used it for my engineering studies, um, math studies primarily, electronics, and um, so I wanted to, to show you uh, before I go to the computer, came with a really nice book on basic programming, the basic language programming. Um, it's a full-blown computer and calculator, but uh, I'm going to illustrate the uh, computer comp part of it today came with the uh, little uh, quick reference card which is still in really great shape and then uh, of course here's the jewel the Tandy um, PC3 pocket computer I'm going to pull it out of its case here this case is in beautiful condition the leatherette case and here we go here is the uh, pocket computer you can see how small it is um, and very light it runs on three button cells and um, I think there's even still a protective coating on here that I never peeled off the only thing that's missing on this particular one is a little reset pin that snapped right in there and I think I lost that the first week I had it so all you have to do is stick a pin in there to reset, but it came with a little reset pin. The PC3 also had an expansion slot underneath this cover is a little 11 pin input output bore uh, plug and uh, it would allow you to plug into um, external accessories which I'll talk about in just a second. But you can see uh, it's, it's got the QWERTY keyboard and uh, numeric keypad 24 characters wide one row uh, so alphanumeric only no graphics so it was limited as to what it could do but the purpose was for running basic programs uh, the financial market used these a lot for financial calculations interests loan interest all that kind of thing uh, mortgage interest it also was used a lot by engineering students. I used it, of course, uh, in my electronics engineering studies early in the 80s when I was into Cleveland Institute of Electronics. So uh, lots of programs that you could run on this to do your calculations. I've written a little program today to demonstrate just a, a particular feature. Uh, since I'm into ham radio, I thought it might be interesting to run to write a little uh, antenna designer program. Some of you can do these in your head. You don't even need a computer to do them, but I thought I would illustrate how it might work if you had uh, uh, something that you needed to calculate on a regular basis. So um, I've created a little dipole designer that tells me uh, if I enter a frequency, it will tell me what the length of the wires should be on the antenna. And uh, so let me just illustrate that right now. Uh, I've got it in a macro under A for antenna. And you should be able to see the text on the screen here. Uh, dipole design. So it's going to beep and then ask me for the uh, desired frequency. Since I, uh, I listen on 160 pretty often. So let me put in 1.8. Six, five. That'll be the frequency that I'm going to try to tune this antenna to. All right. It tells me that I need 250.9 feet of wire for the entire length of the dipole. 
and it's also going to tell me that each segment of course is half of that 125.4 feet and then I can even ask it uh, even it'll even calculate a quarter wave antenna and here's the full length of a quarter wave, uh, quarter wave 62.7 feet and each leg would be half of that so there we go that's just one example uh, let's do another one let's do uh, a uh, dipole for a uh, uh, two meter. So let's do one four six dot eight two zero. That's a familiar one to many of us. Uh, tells me that I need three feet of wire, three point one feet of wire, and if I split it to into a dipole, it would be one and a half feet, obviously, and then uh, quarter wave would only be point uh, seven feet. So there you have it. Um, Anyway, the point is that you can see that the program is here written in BASIC. You see the different uh, command lines, and some of this will look familiar to some of you programmers.